water temple soul. That's the last underwater segment I'm going to have to do now. Not until the end of the game. Ah, okay, the birds can scare me away. I'm going to need a mask. And again, I'm confused why there's like an unlimited amount of ammo. Weird little well, idea. Right, there's the bird mask. Where are you going? I imagine they would have just like swapped between the two. Yeah, the spawner. I don't get this. Getting apples? What? I don't, don't understand. Is there a reason why I can get unlimited apples from these things? These aren't going to let me go anywhere near that thing. Yeah, they want apples. Hence why it's an unlimited spawner. Okay, I'm with you. Confused now. <laughs> Unless there's a way to. Ah, so there is. Now, how do I get that to stay pressed down?
Give me a feather. What is this? I'm pushing this too, but we're gonna be a level of a switch or something at the end of it. Or am I pushing it through there? That's it? Yeah, literally a steam achievement. That was all I was doing it for. <laughs> down here. I haven't explored yet, so let's have a quick look. Ah, painting! That's all three of the artwork. Definitely. So the last bit I need to... Okay. The last bit I need to solve is literally the other side. I can only think that I'm going to have to switch... Yeah, okay, right now I've got it. I know what I'm doing now. I think to myself, maybe there's going to be a second object that you can place onto the switch, and then you can, like, have it as a complete thing. But, no, there isn't. <laughs> so it looks like I'm literally going to have to place the crystal there. Then I can go through and pick up an apple. Which I will leave on the platform because probably the best idea. Then you gotta go back round, pick up the crystal, and then put it in the thing. The only reason why is because you can't jump with items. <laughs> and then we just pull the lever. Wanna land on the platform? Yeah. Okay, that was weird. Does not like picking things up on moving platforms. Hello, wabbits. I have brought an apple for you. Not where I'm going, it's that way. have a stairwell because I can't reach that height. <laughs> Even with my uh, scarf I can't reach that height of love like jumps. Uh, what else is on? A lot about people creating light and uh, yeah creating stuff. But then apparently there's some kind of calamity that destroys it. So the way that I'm understanding and interpreting the story at the minute is there's the original creation power, which is what made my scarf, basically. 
because it's basically like the son of that creator. Um, the spirits basically take the creator's power to create things, as yeah, you know. But then they're not happy with it, so they destroy everything. So I'm really struggling to see who's the bad guy in this situation. Last segment. Where the heck are you going? technically. <laughs> I feel like this is cheating. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's actually locked me this time. This is a... No, wait, hang on. Yeah, it locked my camera that time. Okay, that's... That's better. I can see him all the way from over here. <laughs> that kind of just defeated the purpose of locking the camera, I'm being honest. If I can see you running all the way from back there, you are not going to run away from me. And the final time, and then I'm taking your essence, and then, yeah. He's that way somewhere, but where? Ah, I see. You. I wouldn't have actually guessed that this is an area, to be honest. We've had our fun, now dragon, come take essence so we can move on. I don't know if he's actually looking for me or what. Yeah, so he'll just run back to the same spot. He doesn't actually... There for some reason. Ah. It made a bit more sense. I was being very stupid for the entire period. I thought I had to lure him over to where the dragon was. Apparently not. Unlucky. Game beaten now. I've got all the dark 
Yeah, I've got all the inks. I'm not too bothered by the toys, and I've got all the threads. we go. It's a villainous dragon! Do I have to return these? Interact with the dragon, I don't believe. I think that is everything. Let's go. Ah, there is a bit of a final segment to do. Basically the mother dragon, if you're gonna put it into like theories of that. Uh, yeah, basically I have little dragon, big dragon. That's the eyes. This thing. time everything was different. Because this time I knew who I was. Not what I was supposed to be, the hero of her story, who I was. A traveler, a nomad, a rebel. Darkness was with me, and darkness was so much more powerful than she. Ah, so I've, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> After I won, the prize was there, beating life through the eternal darkness. I took it with only one desire in my soul. Freedom. I feel like I did the, uh, the right thing and I also feel like I did the wrong thing. Very weird. Do I get to keep a dragon scarf now? And freedom reigned over my king. The power to breed new worlds. As I made myself one with the light, one final question ah. burst inside me. In the eons ahead, will the rebels become rebels? Will their children become slaves? Will us become she? I dare to hope not. And if it happens, one thought comforts me. Wherever there is darkness, there's light. Wherever there is boredom, there's fun. Wherever there is slavery, there is freedom. Wherever she is, I will be too. Ah, that's a very strange way of ending it, but okay. Yeah? Uh <laughs> 
I'm a bit stumped. I don't know if I'm the good or the bad guy. <laughs> I think I'm the good guy at the end of it. It's a very interesting take because you normally associate darkness with being the bad side, but in this side, it like this story, it kind of works as darkness being the good guy. I think that's actually being quite a popular take on a lot of the modern games nowadays. It's not just like light versus dark. It's literally sometimes dark is actually the good side, whereas light would be the bad side. It's an interesting take. I actually really enjoyed this. It's a nice little platformer adventure game. Nothing to like way out there as in terms of um, like challenging and stuff like that. It just feels like one of those games you can sit back and just enjoy, which is quite a nice one. Although I am thinking to myself, I imagine that the ending would have been quite a bit different if I hadn't collected the ink things, or if I hadn't collected all the ink things even, or at least six of them to get the pyramid open. Um, the only reason I say that is because it seemed like that weird mother eye dragon thing would have um, just outright killed me <laughs> as soon as I returned the little dragon to her. But uh, yeah, instead darkness kills everything. Yay! And to be honest, after I saw um, the dragon eat the other spirit thing, it was kind of like, yeah, I'm not so sure that you're a good guy. <laughs> I think I'm just helping you at this point, and <laughs> it's not good. And that is the end of Scarf. Like I previously mentioned, it's probably going to be a much different ending if you don't get all the ink things, but I feel like that was the true ending in a way, so I'm not too, like, I don't know. I feel like this has run its course now. I beat the game, I've gotten the true ending, quote unquote. Very good game overall, very enjoyable platformer, so if you are interested in these kind of games, I would recommend giving it a go for yourself. Um, obviously, there's a lot of collectibles that I missed out, but again, if you play it yourself, you can find them. I don't know if it, it would end, like change the endings or anything, if you collect everything. I doubt it, but it's there to do, I suppose, as something extra. Thank you very much to the guys and girls over at Nordic Studio for making such an incredible game and giving me a key to try it on. It was very much appreciated. Not expected, but very appreciated. But that's the end of the video, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next week.